just wanted to give a few highlights as you know this morning i think all of us were were uh, you know getting up with a little bit of fear we were hoping that it would be a good budget but we were all afraid that something or the other would come and hit us hard because the set of options available before the finance minister were really not unenviable and in the backdrop of that i think she has done an absolutely outstanding job i would like to hear from each one of you what you know what you think of the budget and what's been what's been uh, sort of communicated through the budget of the government's intent but i i'm i'm rarely more optimistic uh, you know i could be rarely more more optimistic than this i think on the big headlines the budget has delivered there is very clear focus on growth of the physical infrastructure capital uh, capital investment there is very clear focus on uh, on things like development of social infrastructure and in the right places the money has been put like like development of healthcare infrastructure edu- you know bolstering critical gaps in education a bit of urban uh, transport etc uh, modernization of railways some port development and uh, the 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 big message that i see in the budget is that the government is very appreciative of the shock that industry and ordinary people both have gone through and hence there there you know the government has stayed away from imposing new taxes this was a fear that all of us had because we were acutely aware of the government's own challenges in terms of mopping up resources the third area that i find very uh, very promising is that there is a very clear articulation of uh, of the disinvestment agenda for the first time to my memory a finance minister has used the expression privatization rather than disinvestment and she has you know said that all the outstanding privatization uh, targets would be met in this year and in addition to in addition to that two public sector banks and an insurance company would be privatized these are all all the right things and let's not forget that government is is facing some amount of political challenges on account of the farm bill and i was personally afraid that you know there would be a lot more defensiveness but on the other hand government has shown really really bold uh, position on 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 most of the urgent thing the finally what i like about the budget is that there is not too much of tokenism there are few things social infrastructure a few areas physical infrastructure a few areas development finance institution simplification of uh, compliance and tax but these are all there are all major headlines over there so overall i think you know we could not have asked for more it's a sensitive budget which takes into account the challenges that various parts of society and economy are facing and it's a budget that takes very decisive steps to you know to deliver in those areas